In many carcinomas, the canonical NF kappa B pathway is activated. But generally speaking, mutations in signaling proteins in the canonical pathway are rare. In contrast, mutant genes do lead to the activation of NF kappa B pathways in various forms of B cell lymphoma and in multiple myeloma. In the following, we show how mutations in signaling proteins activate NF kappa B pathways in multiple myeloma. In the normal steady state, ubiquitination of TRAF3 by cellular inhibitors of apoptosis is a prerequisite for the activity of the NIC kinase. The following mechanisms that activate NIC constitutively in myelomas have been described. Deletion of genes coding for cellular inhibitors of apoptosis. Deletion, mutation, or silencing of either the TRAF2 or TRAF3 gene. And amplification of the MAP3K14 gene, which encodes NIC. When overexpressed, NIC can activate NF kappa B pathways. NIC can also be activated by the amplification of genes that, under physiological conditions, signal via the alternative NF kappa B pathway. One of these genes encodes CD40. Another gene that can be amplified in myeloma encodes the transmembrane activator and CAML interactor, TACI for short. Furthermore, the gene encoding the lymphotoxin beta receptor can also be amplified. Other mutations in multiple myeloma lead to a truncated P100 protein resembling the P52 protein that, under normal conditions, is generated from the P100 precursor via proteolytical cleavage. All of these mutations lead to the enhanced transcription of anti-apoptotic and cytokine genes. MicroRNA31 can silence the MAP3K14 gene, which encodes the NIC kinase. In human adult T-cell leukemia, synthesis of microRNA31 can be inhibited by polycomb group proteins. Upstream of the MIR31 region, binding motifs for the YY1 transcription factor are present. The YY1 transcription factor can recruit the polycomb repressor complex 2, which contains the methyltransferase EZH2. When the PRC2 repressor complex binds to the YY1 transcription factor, the lysine residue in position 27 of histone 3 is trimethylated. It is known that trimethylated lysine in position 27 of histone 3 recruits the polycomb repressor complex 1, abbreviated PRC1. This leads to a compaction of chromatin. As a consequence, the transcription of the MIR31 gene is repressed, the NIC gene is no longer silenced, and the NIC kinase can activate NF-kappa B pathways. There is extensive crosstalk between NF-kappa B pathways and other pathways, notably the MAP kinase pathway, with the key control switch, the proto-oncoprotein KRAS. In a variety of carcinomas, particularly lung carcinomas, it has been shown that the transcription of NF-kappa B genes is enhanced with mutant, but not with wild-type KRAS. Based on targeted deletion and silencing experiments, the following model has been suggested. The mutant and constitutively active KRAS associates with RAL-GDS, a guanine nucleotide exchange factor of the RAL-GEF family. Upon association, RAL-GDS assists in the exchange of GDP bound to RAL-B for GTP. This leads to the activation of the RAL-B protein. Active RAL-B activates what is called the tank, 
Binding kinase 1, which phosphorylates serine residues of the destruction box of the I kappa B alpha protein in a complex with the NF kappa B family members P50 and C rel. Subsequently, I kappa B alpha is ubiquitinated and directed to the proteasome. The P50 C rel dimer enters the nucleus, binds to consensus motives in the DNA, and regulates NF kappa B target genes, which promote tumor growth.